Almost 20 years ago, in September 2005, the fourth strongest Atlantic hurricane ever recorded struck land only 23 miles or so to the east of Sea Rim. Recovery began quickly, and for the next three years, Sea Rim was rebuilt, but only to be struck again in September 2008 by Hurricane Ike, which made landfall to the west in Galveston, Texas. Although Sea Rim looks close to I-10, the route to the park from the interstate will take some time. Allow for that. Also, make sure that you're stocked up before getting to the park. There is nothing of consequence here available. We reserved our site, one of only 15 sites that have water and electric, through ReserveAmerica.com and then shared it with a mosquito and a thousand of her closest friends. Fun fact. Only the female mosquitoes bite. And if I recall correctly, this was about $20 or so per night. But don't forget about the separate $3 entry fee for the park itself. The site was nice, level, near the boardwalks. And keep in mind, there are no trees here, which means no shade. But that should be expected. And by the way, I only mention the mosquitoes just so that you are aware and prepared. This is a marsh, but it is a beautiful place. Like Padre Island, you can drive and camp on the beach here. There were about 75 sites, I believe, that are non-reservable. First come, first serve, and of course, drive. No water, no electric. But hey, it is on the beach, right? And if you're camping on the beach, be aware. The tides, they rise and fall with the moon and the weather. Check with the park before you get there for any needed information. Your phone number is below. Also, if you're spending any time at all in Texas, be sure to check out their Texas State Parks Pass. It is only $70. But a great benefit to that is that your second or more consecutive nights are one half off. And that is a deal. Oh, and something else that we discovered here. Floating, boat-in campsites. These were only $15, and that might make a neat story someday. Can you imagine waking up in the morning, the lullaby of the surf and the ocean, the small fog, and being surrounded by alligators looking for breakfast? Kind of neat, maybe. We did go looking for alligators out on the boardwalk, but I guess today just wasn't it. There were none to be seen anywhere. Another great thing about this park is if you like to fish, you don't need a license here as long as you're on the shore. And on top of that, the park will even loan you out fishing and crabbing gear, junior ranger backpacks for the kids, and binoculars if you want to bird watch. All free. Well, that's it, guys. Just a quick review and some tips. Until next time, Travel safe, be a good human, and take care.